a hundred years from now, if somebody should bring up my name, if, <laughs> if it would still be around, it would be nice if people say, geez, I, I thought he was a good writer. His stories gave me a lot of pleasure. That's what people tell me now, and it's the best thing any writer can ever hear. When, when I see the characters that I helped to create on the screen, I don't really think of them as my characters. I, I really sit in the theater and I watch them the way every member of the audience watches them. And at the end of the movie, I usually say, damn, that was good. Legendary comic book writer and editor Stan Lee has passed away at the age of 95. Lee, the most celebrated figure in American comics, began his comics career in the 1940s and is widely credited with revolutionizing superhero storytelling by co-creating with the late Jack Kirby, the Marvel Comics universe in the 1960s. Lee was born Stanley Martin Lieber on December 28, 1922 in New York City, which became the setting of many of his superhero adventures and the birthplace of characters like Spider-Man, Captain America, and Daredevil. Level. Lee brought his creative talents to bear during his military service, entering the U.S. Army in 1942 and working for the Signal Corps Training Film Division, where he wrote instruction manuals, scripts for training films, and even drew cartoons and posters, though he didn't go on to apply his drawing skills to comics. Lee completed his World War II military service in 1945 and returned to his earlier career in comics, writing stories in a variety of genres for Atlas Comics, the publisher that would go on in 1961 to be rebranded as Marvel Comics. Comics. That same year, Lee and his regular collaborator, Jack Kirby, unveiled Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four. In the years that followed, Lee and Kirby went on to create many of the characters that would go on to become the stars of the Marvel Cinematic Universe half a century later, including Iron Man, Thor, and the Incredible Hulk. With the advent of the golden age of superhero cinema in the 21st century, Lee became immediately recognizable even to casual fans, thanks to his regular movie cameo appearances. Are you Tony? Stank. He had his first cameo role in 1989's The Trial of the Incredible Hulk. And by the 2000s, he was appearing in several cameos a year, from a background appearance in Brian Singer's X-Men, all the way up to a cartoon cameo in Teen Titans Go! to the movies, in which Lee declares, I don't care if it's a DC movie, I love cameos. Not now! The characters created by Lee and the stories that he have told have played a formative role in the lives of several generations of comic book fans, and will continue to do so for many more decades to come. The Marvel Comics legend will be sorely missed by his friends, family, and legions of devoted fans. Let Nine Media know how Stan Lee's made an impression with you. Nine Media will respond to the first few we see. My name is Blaine from Nine Media, and we appreciate you sticking around until the end.